All right, so this is going to be a really short video. Uh, this is just some information that I wanted to share with you. Uh, you don't need to create a new uh, Xcode project. I just wanted to show you this. Mm, like in the last few videos, we actually worked with like um, UI, uh, like with the view controller. We worked with uh, a scroll view of um, with the collection view. We also worked with a table view, and instead of writing like uh, the view controller yourself you can also go to um, to your oblates library and where you do view controller you have actually different kinds of view controllers as well so when you have a table view controller and you know you're only going to have a table on that view controller you can actually implement this one so instead of taking the normal view controller and write all the code yourself and the design and everything you can actually just drag this one around so when we put this one on here as you can see the table view is already in there it's already aligned it's already um, constrained and when we create a new a new swift file so coco touch class and let's say this is going to be ui table view controller and we're going to call this pokemon controller you're gonna save it in there as you can see all the code and all the information that you need for actually building a table view is already in here already in the code so instead of writing everything yourself you can actually make your life easier and just use the um, yeah like a little bit like the standard template that we already have is with the UI collection view, it's actually the same. So where we do UI collection view, we have here the controller, where we drag the controller on here. As you can see, the collection view is already on there. And when we do a new file, oh, when we do a new file, and let's say we have UI collection view controller, and this is gonna be mm, Barry controller next create so as you can see in here we actually already have all the functions that we need for our collection view so also you don't need to write it yourself and when you are building it yourself this is like really interesting because in here you actually have a lot of information which you can use as well and this is actually for a lot of other view controllers so for example view controllers here we have a split view controller. This is for example um, on the iPad. Would, would this be really interesting? We have here a page view controller. So when you have like a controller with multiple pages on the same controller, you can actually use that one. And here, if you, you, here you have like um, GLK. So this has to do with gaming and with graphics. And here we have like AVKit player. So this is like for uh, music. With controls and everything um, the standard templates are already inside of Xcode so you are actually able to use them so uh, this was just some information that I wanted to tell you about in the next video we are gonna look at the UI alert controller so we're actually gonna uh, we're actually gonna write a small function where we call like an error like in Swift and how you can actually use this for error handling so, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something, and let's go to the next video.